Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Spy Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, snap. Nice. But, I mean, you already have a job, though. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I'm just saying, Anato, she has a job. She's a spy. But my thing, does, does she get put, do any of these girls get paid for their job? <laughs> Hello. Money. We, we not some, oh, we work for free. Nah. We need money. Heck, y'all get to stay in that nice, good looking house for free. Y'all just gotta clean after yourselves. So, uh. Where a moolah at? I'm just saying. <laughs> Klaus need to be paying it, y'all. Or at least, uh, yeah, at least he needs to be paying y'all. He needs to be giving them allowances every single freaking week so that they don't have to get regular jobs. I'm not mad about the fact that she's getting another episode focus on her. So, I. Four. So that's the reason why she's getting a job. <laughs> But do you think she should be the only one to work there? Shouldn't everybody else be there as, like, backup for her? Right? Like, you know, hey, I love her. But, you know, she ain't the smartest one. She's not the brightest one, even though she she's adorable. But when it comes to certain things, she a badass. Right? And then next thing you know, it'll be in the local newspaper. Oh. 
You don't want to know. No, 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 no. Okay, good luck to you too. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, my God. Holding to the face, I'd be scared, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just eating a little too much. Mm -hmm. Lively. It's just a whole bunch of men. Yeah, I mean, she just looks fine. That's the problem, though. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's a completely different person. Oh my god. And I think because she really wants money for her tools and stuff, and specifically anything that she makes, so of course she's going to have a lot of potential. Yeah. you
worried about that. That's customer service in a nutshell. Aww. Well, I mean, I feel like she looks like looks at Klaus as a father figure, maybe. Oh. Thank you. Uh, besides the dick who threw freaking alcohol or whatever on her? Drugs. Hmm? Drugs. Got you. Could be any one of them, though. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, this is what happens when you have a well-established worker versus you two. <laughs> mm. Huh? Oh, you. 
you. No! Ah. Mm-mm. Good job, Erna. No. <laughs> oh. That poor baby. Oh my god. Protect her from everything. Say it again. Say it louder in the back. Oh my god, Lily. Mm -hmm. See, that's an aqua. Mm -hmm. Aqua vibes. Yes! <laughs> Oh, not only that. Oh, you got another thing coming, my good sir. Duh, you think anybody would be mad about you throwing booze on them? Maybe you got a problem with that? You go bye bye now. Mm. Plus, it's the right thing. He bad guy, we taste. Mm.
I mean, you know, we, we love how dark she was with her fake mom. But, like, right here, that was another thing coming. Girl is dark as fuck. Just, you know, once again, that's someone who you never want to make mad. Who you never want to meet in a dark alley because you never know. You baby. <laughs> oh. It's still sweet though, but no, please don't put my baby in there. Please help my child. Once again. Baby is a badass. Scary, but a badass. Once again, you never want to run into her in the middle of the night in a dark behind alleyway. Because, girl, you know, if looks could kill. Aneto, in a nutshell. I mean, yeah, Thea is like that too. But not as much as this girl. Because once again, let's go back to her, you know, the fake mom episodes. And how... Crazy she fucking looked when she looked at Klaus in the fucking eyes and she's like, that's not my real mother. She will never be my mother. Girl scared the shit out of me. With her one eye. I mean, girl, deadly. Deadly as fuck. Cute, but deadly. Y'all better watch out. You never know what she is capable of, because, oh my fucking God. I mean, you know, like, once again, I ain't mad about the fact that she wanted to tase that asshole for throwing booze on her. What the fuck is wrong with a man? Uh, you know, this ain't not only a man, this could be anybody. Please don't throw your drinks on somebody. Come on now, we just trying to work, do our several hours of our shift, go home, get some sleep, and do it all over the next freaking day. I'm not in the mood. She ain't in the mood to deal with someone's BS of an attitude. I, th that's why I, like, I, I love my job. I do. I just don't like certain customers. Oh. Really? Is that New York City? That's going to be interesting. Mm. Next week is going to be good. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, once again, dealing with, okay, I'll say it like this. Any job that has to deal with, like, customer service, a serving job, whatever. It is extremely hard to deal with people, especially if, you know, if someone is drunk, someone has an attitude and stuff. Um, And so sometimes you... Gotta make sure that when, especially when you are on the clock, that you you have a certain way. Like, okay, me, when I, I, I feel like I wear a mask when I'm at work. I, I mean, but I still feel like, to me, that quote-unquote mask is still my true personality and such. Where I am the nicest that I can be because I am going to treat people the way they want to be treated. But I don't... I absolutely, this, I felt like my biggest pet peeve at work right now dealing with customers is when customers come in having an attitude with me for no freaking reason. I, I mean, I understand it. Trust me. I've had days where somebody has pissed me off and nine out of 10, I want to lash out on somebody. But then at the same time, you got to remember, like they did nothing to you. You're only lashing out because someone upset you. I get that. I've even seen that as my, you know, eight years on YouTube and dealing with that via my comments section with any of the videos that I've done from 2016 on to now, um, with any of the shows that I've done, I, I've seen it. 
I've seen the good and bad and everything in between. And so, like I said, I, I've said this to people, including myself, where it's like you have to have a thick skin when it comes to whatever someone says on the, on the internet about you. Typically, whatever. Good, well, not really good. More bad and then anything in between. Um, especially even in a regular job, you have to have thick skin because, as I said before... At the store that I currently work at right now, I did have a breakdown, and it was not the greatest thing in the world. Trust me. And I made a vow to myself ever since that day to never have a breakdown in that store. Now, Christmas last year was very close to having another breakdown because I Christmas is like at the store is like hell on earth. Let's just say that. And so, because we are now officially in August, going into Dece <laughs> December. Into September, we are slowly but surely getting into the Christmas season and such and dealing with that rush. And so now having newbies in the store and stuff and who really don't know what the heck Christmas is going to be like, I really am scared for them because it'll be my second year, their first year, and they don't know how to deal with customers when it comes to a Christmas type setting and dealing with how so many people, even when it's not the holidays and stuff can truly be an ass and all I have to say about that is if someone does get angry with you the biggest thing that you don't do is get angry and try to get revenge on them yes you can prove them wrong I have done that with some of my customers and in the end um if I am right on something and they are wrong and they know they're wrong I have gotten apologized to um, but Aneto, Aneto, she'd be like, mm, we going for the kill. Please don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Treat people the way that you want to be treated, even when, you know, someone is having the worst day of their life and they get an attitude with you over something. Just don't get an attitude with them. It's only like, especially if you're irritated too, it's not going to help anything. Trust me. I know I've been there as well. Yeah, you just got to be patient. And sometimes I feel like us as humans, we are a little impatient on things. So just. Usa. That's all I have to say about that. But yeah, this was a really interesting episode. I feel like this is the second, but the second best episode for best girl. Or my, my third best girl, because like Thea is my number one. But yeah. Very interesting. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 2 of Spy Classroom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night with Match Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday after work. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet because I won't be coming home until about a little bit late-ish. So, I will be very tired. I will be talking about it more probably either tomorrow when these videos come out or on Monday. Um, but our, some, some things are coming up at the store and, um, like I said, I would be working my butt off. Um, so just in case for episode eight or whatever, really, truly, I think this would probably be episode 20 for this series now. Um, if it doesn't come out, my video doesn't come out Thursday, just expect it more Friday or Saturday cause stuff. Cause your girl about to be very, very busy and very, very tired next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.